Hello angels, I'm Miss Quiet Queen and you are now tuned into the Quiet Queen Project. <clears throat> welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to my channel. Um, I want to talk to you guys about the moon and the effects of the moon. I, this isn't the first video I've done about the moon, um, but uh, and it certainly won't be the last. I think it's really important that we embrace our mother moon, the energies from the moon. I have a book that someone wrote specifically for me, so I'm not going to show you the title because it really isn't a title. Um, but I will. I am going to read from it. But I wanted to let us know. Um, you all know that um, it is the uh, full moon today. Today is the full moon, and I felt a great awakening um, prior to this uh, full moon. Um, Unfortunately for you guys, I'm not going to go into that awakening and the experiences that I had and the, you know, the just the, the visions and things like that because it's really personal. And I realize now that sometimes I may talk a little too much on my um, channel. Some of y'all doing like this. Yep. Ooh, I wouldn't have said that. Yeah, because I'm just, you know, I'm open and I just speak. When I get in front of the camera, I just speak. I talk as if you were here in front of me. But I have to realize that not everybody has my best interest at heart. And some people try to change that and, um, you know, just do things that they shouldn't be doing. You know, but um, <clears throat> I wanted to talk about the moon because it is a full moon and the moon affects our mood the moon has a lot to do with the tide the weather um your mannerisms it really does this the the so-called powers that be in this day and age now um they use the powers of the moon and the powers of the moon are energies are very strong energies and they're non-biased so when the wrong people get a hold to um certain knowledge they want to keep it to themselves they don't want you to find out about it because they don't they don't want you to prosper but i don't want to keep talking about what they don't want screw what they don't want the power of the moon is right there we have to use it this is the full moon today and it's the full moon and you need to harness its power even if you are a male embrace your feminine side okay so let me read something to you all right, this is about just getting to know the moon and the rules and the influences that the moon have. People find questions to their complex answer. I'm just trying to find out which part do I want to start you at. It says... Um, Whoever we are, the moon is totally inseparable from our daily existence, and we do know that. For example, why is the moon, okay, let me see. Let me go back and read this from one page so you can. There is no shortage of examples. Okay, let me go, let me go back up. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm so sorry. I don't I don't practice I don't do takes and all that so I want to get to the right part the moon has an effective has an effect on our mood scientific studies have proven that the influence it exerts on our psyche okay let me read that again I read that wrong the moon has an effect on our mood scientific studies have proven the influence it exerts on our psyche it has also been proven that patients in hospitals are much edgier and more upset during full moon periods of course popular expression such as lunatic or ill moon high deeply held traditions and beliefs Medical research has also shown that the birth rate is higher during the full moon periods. And these statistics are reflected throughout the world. 
Hairdressers also know the influence the moon can have on our body because some salons are keen on staying open very late on full moon nights. The full moon also exerts an, its influence on nature. Any gender um, will tell you. The moon affects plants and vegetation. The moon also controls the tides. Its power along displacing millions of tones of water, millions of tons of water. It can even cause currents in deep water. The moon can do this, y'all. Comparable to about 800 million kilowatts. All this has been scientifically proven. So I'm not making it up. Nobody's making this up. So I don't want to get nobody, no people and getting down in the comment section. That's not true. That's evil. You said that. <laughs> there is no shortage of examples that demonstrates the influence of the moon, women's menstrual cycles, the high birth rate and full moon periods, the growth of plants and vegetations, the tides, climate and variations, etc. <clears throat> but that's not all. In modern science discoveries involving the effect of the lunar cycle on every living thing on earth, are everyday occurrences and finding answers to the complex questions that this uh, star throws up is no small talk. For example, why is it that some Madagascan tribes hide their women away from the new moon when they go into labor? Or why is it that the fabulous blue butterflies of Latin America are really the darkest brown in color. And it's the minuscule scales on their wings that act as a prism reflecting the blue rays of the moon. That's why it looks so dark. Well, I never knew that. In truth, human beings have also been fascinated by the moon. I'm going to skip a few things. Let's talk about lunar magic. Throughout time, the moon has haunted the subconscious and the imaginations of humanity. Its influence favors the emergence of life, but it can also, according to uh, certain beliefs, provoke negative events. In some cases, it can even cause death, which can, in this case, is considered to be a necessary step for regeneration and rebirth, governing all transformations here on earth. The moon is the instrument throughout the divine law of karma. Is okay, I'm sorry. The moon is the instrument through which the divine law of karma operates. Okay, so basically all I'm saying, you, you know, you guys, just please get to know nature. Get to know the free things in life. We're supposed to be free. We're free for now. The moon, the sun, the air, the blaze of grass, um, the, the certain angels, the archangels. I was reading up on angels today. Y'all know angels are my thing. And some of them guide you in certain things. I don't understand why some people get upset when we talk about this and say this and they say only Jesus is the way. Well, um, Jesus is very busy and that's fine. And I understand you may believe he's omnipresent, but I know for sure that these angels are. I want y'all to get to know the forces of nature. It is what is in us. Our bodies are made up of, what is it, 90 percent water 97 percent water something like that mostly water why don't you try to understand the elemental force called water it is a very powerful thing it is a conduit it is a catalyst it can be a conductor for so many things water is very powerful even in a bottle like this is very powerful and large bodies of water even more so try to understand more about water for example Water is represented by the um, direction of the west. And there is a unseen entity or energy that governs over water. There are many, 
but there's one that's most popular that its whole purpose is to govern over water are the undines. These energies are beings, energetic beings, but you can feel them, but you can't see them unless they want you to see them. They're called undines. Okay, and for the earth, the direction of the earth is north, and the um, elemental force or energies that govern over earth are called the gnomes. And um, the direction for uh, fire is south, and um, the salamanders govern over fire, and the direction of air is east and those energies or energies governing the air are called slice so when you are trying to get to know your elements go outside please go outside in your backyard or go to a park go somewhere where you could be alone or even if you want to have a partner go with your partner go with a friend go with somebody here's a good idea somebody that you're not getting along with Say, hey, well, let's, let's go out. Would you go out with me? We need to talk about how we can, if, if there's somebody that you don't get along with and you need to get along with them, like you live with each other, you work together or something, say, I want, I, want, I want us to go out. Let's go to a park. And, you know, if you, have, you think you can have that relationship with that person, but if not, take yourself, take off your shoes and your socks and walk through the grass, speak to Mother Earth, Take your headset and I want you to listen to Hertz 528. Do your research. Hertz 528 is the vibration that induces love. It is the loving vibration. It is the vibration that produces love and growth. It is Mother Earth's heartbeat, so to speak. That's what I consider it. Nobody told me that, but that's what I consider Hertz 528 is Mother Earth's heartbeat because um the blades of grass function on a frequency of 528 hertz megawatts kilowatts did you know that the blades of grass that's how they, i mean everything has a vibration we already know that right that is scientifically proven that's not something that miss quiet queen is making up or anybody else everything operates operates at a vibration because everything is atoms and electrons Find out about these. Study the electrons, atoms, photons. Find, study about these things. Um, so the blades of grass all operate on 528 hertz because it is love. Now, if you're listening to a vibration or a hertz that is 741, I think 741 is uh, demonic or is negative, something like that. I'll get back to you, but it's I think it's the opposite of 528. But 528, remember I, I did a I did a video, I think it's still up, on your Savagio tones. Study your Savagio tones. The moment you were born, beloved, there was a song that was created for you. There was a tone that was created because you entered into the world. Now remember, we already know and understand that everything operates in vibration, right? Everything has a vibration. When you do stuff, when you move, make a movement, you're creating friction, you're creating movement. It's a vibration, right? So just because, okay, I'm doing this right here, and then somebody else will start doing like this, and that's another vibration. Somebody else will start doing this, and that's another vibration, you know what I mean? So what about, think about it like this. The, the world is operating on its own and, and, and it's vibrating. And But what about when you were born? That's a big deal. Each time someone passes through a birth canal, you have a soul that encompassed a body and is passing through the birth canal. It is coming back to ha ha hell. It's coming back here. It's reincarnating. So something is going on in the cosmos so the cosmos is always moving and churning and moving and, and constant new vibrations and new savagio tones and things are being created because we are still creating we are creators we are creators we create we create um vibration because of but because of god's permission we're creators 
And in the Bible, God says, let us create man in our likeness and our image. So if God is doing that, then we are also God-like. I'm not saying, well, that's all I'm going to say for now. We are God-like. There is a God energy inside you. And I don't know how I jumped off to that subject from one subject to the next. But hey, I thank you guys for loving me for who I am and I'm not a perfect teacher I don't ever want anybody to think that I don't ever want to feel um, did y'all see that shadow just go past 1537 huh that was weird I saw it again oh <clears throat> I see my TV <laughs> Okay, anyway, um, I'm sorry, y'all. I am not the perfect teacher. I don't know everything and don't claim to know everything. There are many people who watch my videos um, to, to find faults. There are many people who watch my videos and, you know, you appreciate it. And I appreciate everyone, those who appreciate me or not. I really do. Um, I don't claim to know everything. As I said, as I learn, I'll bring it to you. I have to admit, though... I'm not bringing as much information to you as I used to because of the attacks that try to come my way. But um, I, I am very grateful. I'm very grateful for all that I have and for my spirit team because this quiet queen is on this side of town, on my side of town, trying to get it together. You guys, there is something going on in this world right now. Okay, and I'm telling y'all, over the next 24 months, please, please get your health together. Like, I need to get my tooth fixed, and I need to lose weight. Um, if you have some health issues that you want to get checked out, get it checked out. Mm -hmm. In the next two years, get it checked out, especially while you have insurance. Um, I also want you to um, save up some water in your house, a lot of water. And medical supplies as much as you can you know the simple stuff band-aids and alcohol and peroxide things like that make sure you save bleach because um, you know that purifies things and um, dry food like crackers canned cheese if you like it I don't care get the canned goods that have the pull tops you don't have to worry about opening up you know having a, a can opener Say get some money and um, buy yourself a I call it a bug out box. Put it in your car. You need a flashlight, a blanket, some socks, some crackers, um, aspirin, water, a rope, batteries, flashlight, a compass. Maybe if you can get a compass, get a compass binoculars you know different things that you think you would need but um some a lot of those things you really should put in your bug out box anyway and put it in your car clean your car out and put it in i just recently my daughter had it detailed oh my god it looks so good because <laughs> you know i was having a conversation with myself and my higher self oh that's the same thing anyway and i was asking how can i move on spiritually i feel stuck First of all, I felt this strong masculine presence tell me, stop saying you're stuck because you're not. You're just stubborn, not stuck. Wrong S word. So, and then I started hearing and feeling. Sometimes when I say I hear the spirit, when people say they hear the spirit, don't necessarily mean audibly. You can. But most of the time, when you hear spirit or, thing, or spiritual things energetically, it is a feeling. It is an energy okay and they speak to you in pictures and feelings because you have to remember spoken word is new spoken word is the baby brother of the family we didn't speak we use thoughts i gotta go because the family is home and i'm I don't want to keep doing this while they're here and it's so it's so loud and I don't I don't want to do it. I want to start making quiet videos now for you guys. Start back doing quiet videos for you guys. Okay. Alright, so um I don't remember what I said, my granddaughter totally threw me off. I'm gonna listen to this and I am gonna go back and do it. Oh, I was talking about um 
your bug out box and and getting those things yeah and we'll talk about more about that later but I was saying that just, I was asking what can I do to to advance spiritually and uh, can you pour me some I would love to have some of that in a nice tall clear glass clear. yes I like to look at it when I drink that anyway um, I asked spirit what can I do to advance spiritually I need because I feel stuck and I started hearing, you know, my spirit team. That's why I was telling you I, I don't hear necessarily hear them with my ears. Some, sometimes I do, but most of the time it's a feeling, it's pictures because we speak pictures. And that once upon a time there was no words. I mean, we just spoke through feelings and thought. So um, my spirit team was speaking to me in that manner and letting me know that what you need to do to advance spiritually is love yourself love yourself and you too love yourself love who you are by taking care of yourself this is what I heard them say when you go outside the house make sure your hair is right make sure your clothes are right make sure your shoes match you know just different things and I know that might seem like okay who wouldn't but when you are in a, de a, a state of depression when things go on and things happen back to back to back in my life, they have. And I don't get in front of the camera and crow about it. I don't talk about it. Why you ain't? I feel kind of dirty. Oh, they're, because they're all dirty. I don't think I washed them yet. Only have one. So, the back to back to back things happen to me, and I don't talk about it. Because I don't always want to. It's not always necessary. It's my my walk, and I don't want to trouble anyone. Yeah, and besides, there are a lot of people out there who just, you know, I've still got this stalker, you guys. People still watching. The guy, remember I showed you a video of the, the brown and beige truck that was following me? And once I, um, every time I talk about this, something like that happened. And once I confronted my ex son in law, it's, they stopped, but now they're starting back again. Yeah, he's having somebody follow me or watch me, I think. I want the waffles. Orange juice is so good. But I like to drink it out of a clear glass. I don't Mom, know why. I, want the waffles. I like to see I what I'm drinking. It tastes better to me. Because you drink with your eyes, you know? You drink and you eat with your eyes. Oh, okay, so anyway, that's about it I want to say. I mean, I, I, I would like to say a lot more, but my family's here. And as you can hear, the little one over there, I don't want to bring noisy videos to you anymore. So I'm going to let you go. Thank what you for watching. This? If you have not subscribed to my channel, I just Where's have a question. Butter? What you waiting on? <laughs> Please rate and, and, and share this video. I appreciate you guys for watching. Stay in the light, Andy.